Hello and good afternoon, CTS 266, Section 840 students for the fall, I'm sorry, the spring 2016 semester at Anne Arundel Community College. This is the CCMP Switch course, and this is a supplemental video that I'm going to do up here. A common question uh, or curiosity that always comes up is when I comment on introducing an older switch uh, into an existing environment and the overriding of the database. And I always like to show an example of what happens uh, when you take an older switch and, you know, maybe it's to replace a failed switch or you're just expanding your, uh, your um, layer two domain, but you'd forget to check on the config for the new switch, right? And so, and this is kind of a pre-canned uh, scenario here, but I have actually uh, had a very good friend of mine, a colleague that I actually still work with today, uh, who uh, in a hurry was trying to get a uh, replace a failed switch and grabbed an older switch we had off the shelf uh, and plugged it in and connected. And you'll see here, it wasn't a 2950, I think it was a 3550, when this used to be dynamic desirable and plugged it into a port that was dynamic auto and it just so happened that this 2950 uh, that had the same VTP settings as this existing switch which I think might have been a 3560 um, but had a newer configuration revision number and by newer I mean larger config revision and so it overwrote not only the VLAN database on this switch but on I think it was two to three other switches causing a pretty serious outage uh, and it wasn't until the uh, the aftermath was or in the aftermath where we figured out that what had happened was that he had taken a switch that already had the same VTP settings and so uh, the title of this supplement is when VT oops sorry when VTP happens so let's go ahead let's dive in and take a look here this will be uh, the example of again introducing a switch and this does happen where uh, you just pull a switch off the shelf plug it in so here's our 2950 let's take a look at the show VLAN brief and so we should have about 40 VLANs on here and this switch the 2950 not a lot of memory not a lot of versatility it is your sort of your pure vanilla access layer switch with only layer 2 capabilities and is oops, sorry, and is really a legacy switch. So, again, we've got about 40 uh, VLANs here, maybe 45 VLANs. So let's take a look back over here on ALSW01. Well, right now these are the VLANs that he sees. So let's go ahead and let's introduce the 2950 and let's check. It's on FA uh, Show Interfaces FA01 Switch Port, and you can see where the older switches were set to dynamic trunking protocol mode dynamic desirable right now it's down i've got the interface is actually shut down right now because i wanted you know i've got to stage this here so that it happens uh in the right order so again we're dynamic desirable mode well let's go ahead let's go into global config interface interface fa01 do show vtp status and do show vtp password so we've got the right password. Take a look at the configuration revision number, 27. Much higher than 13, I believe, is what it is over on the other switch. We're running VTP version 2. Um, and take a look at that. I can only support 64 VLANs on the 2950. Again, a very old switch, but still good for um, just kind of uh, messing around. So the VTP password matches. So I'm going to say no shut. And let's see what's going to happen here. So the interface changed its state to down. And I think on the ALS01 side, did we um, do show run interface FA101? Did we do, sh or what do we here? Let's see, do show IP interface brief. Yeah, it should be fast Ethernet 101. And it is down, down. So let's say uh, show interface uh, FA101. Oh, sorry do show run interface FA101. 
I'll get it right here in a second. Okay, so there's no configuration there. It is not shut down. So what does it say if we say do show interface FA101 switch port? So it's dynamic auto, right? So let me actually check to make sure I've got the correct cable or that I'm plugged into FA101. So stand by real quickly. I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. I was actually plugged into the uh, plugged into the wrong switch. So I got myself plugged into the right switch. So let's go ahead and say do show interface trunk. All right, so there we go. And you can see that the 2950 was in dynamic desirable mode. We plugged it in by accident into our existing access layer switch right here, right? That's where we plugged it in. So now let's go back and see what happened here. So again, you can see the VLANs that we have are 1 through 40, 50, 60, 70, and 999. Now let's come back over here and take a look. The state changed to up. Do show VLAN brief. And look what just happened totally overwrote the database, the VLAN database. So now if I say do show v, uh, VTP status, take a look. Configuration revision number got updated to match the configuration revision number of the 2950. And again, you know, this is one of those very scary parts of running VTP uh, is if you are not paying attention to what you're doing, you can end up overwriting your entire VLAN database. So take a look at that. So the guest VLAN, if I come down further, you can see it's gone. The management VLAN is gone. The guest VLAN is gone. We've got 1 through 40, 50, 60, 70, and 999. All right. So again, just a quick video to show you what happens or what could occur if VTP happens in a very bad way. So again, this is typically uh, uh, a question that you'll see uh, here and there. You may be asked, well, what happens if we introduce a switch with a higher configuration revision number? If the domain name and the password match, the switch that gets introduced with the higher VTP configuration revision number, its database will overwrite everybody else's database. Now, let's take a look at DLS W01. Did it impact here? And it didn't, right? Because these are VTP version 3. So the version 2 messages are not going to impact version 3. And again, with version 3, you have to go to v, uh, VTP primary VLAN in order to make the changes. All right. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed these video tutorials. Uh, sort of an exhaustive deep dive look here, tour de force on VLANs, setting up VLANs, trunking, setting up trunking, uh, VTP 1, 2, and 3, versions 1, 2, and 3, and what can go wrong with VTP. And one reason why VTP uh, doesn't really have sort of wide acceptance is because uh, in a lot of cases, it is very, very dangerous uh, if something goes terribly wrong. All right. Thanks for watching and see you guys on Monday.